friends and students. Let's study the song Dom Maro Dom. To play this piece, we will count to four. In the original recording, I believe it was a half step higher in the key of E flat minor, but let's study together in the key of D minor. To begin, make the shape of a D minor chord. All right, now we'll let go of the first string or release the first finger. Begin by playing the third string and then the second string. Now the first string. When you reach the first string, letter E, you must hammer from the E to F. So first finger comes down on first string at the first fret, E, F. When you reach the F, you have to pull off to come back to the E. So that's three notes, but notice we will only pluck the string one time with our right hand, or with your picking hand. All right. So after the three note slur, E, F, E, E, play F three more times in a row. First finger, first string, first fret. Now, do the slur of E, F, E, E, one more time. And that completes the one measure uh, phrase. So I'll count to four and do it in slow motion. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, the next theme we're going to learn will begin on the third string with the second finger at the second fret, letter A. Now, third finger on the second string at the 3rd fret, letter D, 2nd finger, 2nd string, 2nd fret, C sharp, 2nd finger, 3rd string, 2nd fret, A, and then 2nd finger, 3rd string, 1st fret, G sharp. So I'll count to 4 and play this in slow motion. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Two, three. Now we have learned two statements that are near the beginning of the song. Uh, that first one is played several times in a row. Then they will perform. Return to. And there's a little guitar interlude. And we'll move from there. We will study together. Now the singer's part. To play the singer's part, we will only need four notes for this section. So it's pretty easy. I'm going to play these four notes in this position. C, D, E, F. I just think we could play these four notes in any position you like. Ooh. But to make fun and easy for learning, let's just stick here for now. All right, very good. So uh, our first theme will be, so that's third finger, second string, third fret D, open E, first string open, first finger, first string, first fret F, back to D. Now we're gonna play two more notes, E on the open first string, and then F on the uh, first string, first fret. I like to slur from the E to the F at the end there, hammer or slide as the case may be. So I'll count to four and play this material in slow motion. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. All right. Now, that same exact thing will be repeated except you play the first note, letter D, two times instead of one. So, uh, this is the second singer's a lyrical line. One, two, three, four. So notice we played that first note twice, but other than that, it's the same. Now let's move on to this theme. That will be third finger, second string, uh, third fret, letter D, down to first finger, second string, first fret letter C, back to the D, and then the open E two times. 
So I'll count to four and demonstrate this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now there's only one more theme to go for our study in this video, and that will be uh, Okay, so the important thing about this one is that you understand that you must enter on beat four. All right, we'll touch on that in just a second. Let's learn the notes and then we'll put it on beat four. First finger, first string, first fret, letter F, then open first string, E, now back to F, and then E again, and then F. To finish that statement, we must put third finger on the second string at the third fret. That's letter D and play it two times. So I will uh, now demonstrate in slow motion, but again, pay attention that we know when to start when this enters and it enters on beat four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three etc. I believe it's played four times in a row. So now we have studied all of the melodic themes that will comprise the first section of this song. Uh, that material is just repeated again and then we move on to new section. So if you'd like to learn more of the song of course you can check out uh, the other video that I have on this piece which has a longer transcription. So now with this video and the tabs and the sheet music you will have the tools to study well and have fun.